Coach, just Javante Payton, what, what have you seen from him? Since he, he wasn't here in the spring. What, what have you seen from him in the fall? Yeah, uh, really, um, signing Javante uh, out of state, uh, exactly what we thought, explosive, um, really good ball skills, big-time competitor. And really right now it's about getting him caught up. You know, obviously he missed out on the spring football, spring practice. So um, at this point, just getting reps, um, getting continuity with the uh, how we practice, what we do, our tempo, and also getting continuity with the quarterback. So I've uh, been impressed uh, so far by Javante. Excited to see what he can do this fall. Adam Sparks, Knox News. Um, your rotation, how deep does that need to be for this for this offense to run efficiently? And can you be thin in that rotation and the offense still run like you want it to? Yeah, I mean, any, any really any rotation, um, any position, you want to be as deep as you can be. Um, uh, it's clear that we run up-tempo offense. We play extremely fast. There's not going to be a whole lot of time for substitutions, uh, but you would like to be at least too deep at every single position, um, two or really three or four wideouts on the field every single play. Um, so as deep as we can get, um, we got to obviously stay healthy. That's a big key, a big part of it, but you want to be as deep as you can be. Uh, Jimmy Callaway had a really nice spring, kind of came on the – came onto the scene and did a lot of good things. How has he carried that over so far in the fall camp? What have you seen from him so far? Man, uh, Jimmy Calloway, don't have enough good things to say about him. Uh, really stepping up, really starting to fill his body, how to play wide out. You know, quarterback coming out of high school, um, really developed um, over, over throughout the course of spring as well as the summer. And it's really showing up on tape right now in fall camp. One of the guys that's really stepped up, started to make plays. And like I said, just the continuity with him, with the quarterbacks, He's starting to really fill space, starting to fill his body, really learning how to play wide out. So I've been really impressed by Jimmy, Jimmy so far. Mike in Austin. Yeah, Cedric Tillman, what has he done kind of since you got here to, to put himself where he's at now? And is he a little bit different in terms of maybe being bigger, bigger bodied guy than some of the other guys you've got? Uh, correct. Um, Tillman, another guy, um, really my room right now at the wide receiver position, a lot of uh, – of skilled players that hadn't played a whole lot of football. And Tim was one of those, one of those guys. And so when I got here in the spring about six and a half months ago, I uh, saw a big frame, big body, didn't have a whole lot of confidence really as I came in here uh, at Tennessee. And right now I think he's starting to play more confident. He's starting to play big. He's a big body wide out that can go up and make plays. And I had a guy similar to him at the other place um, that when it, when it was a 50-50 ball, you're covered, you're still open. He's that type of receiver. I think he's got a chance to be a really good player in this league. He's got to continue to grow, develop, understand the offense, and also understand his skill set. And uh, my goal right now is really to get Tillman really confident because he's going to help us win ball games this year. Cody, when you look at Anderson Kobe, he was a late ad back in January, uh, kind of showed up right before a drop ad. What, what have you seen out of him coming from spring to now? How much has he grown? Because he's another kid that, you know, on tape probably doesn't have a ton of experience. Correct. Uh, Anderson Kobe, Kobe, not a lot of time on task. Uh, Juco kid uh, got here um, really starting to fill himself in the offense, understand what it takes, how we practice, what we do. Um, talented, does have some talent, got to continue to grow and develop. He is a little bit undersized, and uh, but excited about the future. Once again, another one of these wideouts that it's a, it's a lot of unknowns, and he's another guy um, on that on that chain that we got to continue to grow, got to continue to develop. Um, he is twitchy. He is sudden, explosive. He does have a skill set, and now it's about development as far as how to play wide receiver in this offense. Walker Merrill's a, a kid that was here in the spring, and we're going to talk to you a little bit later on. What have you seen in his development, and maybe what position do you best see him at? Right. Uh, one thing with Walker, he does not like confidence, so that's good. Um, he continues to uh, grow and develop in this offense. Just a, another young player, a high school kid that was uh, obviously pretty talented coming out of high school, different ball game now here in the SEC. Um, just got to continue to be healthy, got to continue to uh, grow, understand what we're asking him to do. Um, a bigger body kid that could also play inside and outside. Uh, he, he's really started to grow um, each and every practice. Excited that he got here early uh, to get those reps in the spring as well as summertime. And uh, overall, like I said, my room is a bunch of unknowns right now, and so I'm excited to see what he can do as well. For, uh, c over here, Coach. First scrimmage tomorrow, what, what are your expectations? What are your priorities for your group? Uh, number one job as a wideout is catch the ball. Um, want us to go out there and compete. 
make competitive catches, make plays, and then our operation. How we operate in this offense is very different than most everybody in the country. And so I want to see those guys go out and operate at a high clip, um, look like we know what we're doing, be efficient, and what we're doing and make plays. That's really what I'm looking for is the effort. Um, things that require no talent, right? Effort, toughness, physicality, um, assignment, alignment. Those things require no talent, so I want us to go out there and play hard. Yeah, Coach, I know you talk about kind of the unknowns in your room, but I'm curious as to your thoughts on just kind of how you feel about the depth in the room compared to when you got here uh, back in the spring and kind of where you are now and just the, the business-like approach that, that Jalen and Vela seem to have. Yeah, when I got here in the spring, a little scary um, as far as the depth chart. Um, but now I've seen these guys start to grow, start to develop. You feel a little bit better about where we are as far as a depth perspective. Um, I think we got a chance to continue to grow and develop that depth. Like I said, we play different than anybody else in the country. We play up-tempo, we play fast, and at any position you want to be as deep as you can be. And so right now that's what we're trying to do is develop depth. At the wide receiver position, you would like to be two, even three deep if possible to make sure because throughout the course of a year, you're in an SEC schedule, um, it's rough, right? It's a big boy league. A lot of injuries happen, take place, and you got to have the next man up mentality. So building depth every single day. Coach, you, you've talked a lot about depth. How deep do you feel like this group is right now? How many guys, if, if you guys were playing on Saturday, do you feel like could go out and, and get the job done for you right now? You know, uh, to be honest, after the scrimmage, I think we'll have a lot better idea of where we are depth-wise. Um, you want to see guys that haven't been here go out and compete. You want to see guys that have been here that got a chance to develop throughout the spring and the summer go out and compete as well to kind of see where things uh, fall. And so after the scrimmage, I think I'll feel pretty good about kind of putting the pieces to the puzzle as far as a two deep, maybe a three deep, where guys fit at. And uh, that's really the goal on the first scrimmage. Who can do what? Who can get open? Who can make competitive catches? Who can operate at a high clip? That's what I'm looking for um, in this first scrimmage coming up. Kind of following up on, on that, how, how interchangeable are the positions in this offense? Are you keeping outside guys outside? Or are there certain guys that can play – all, multiple spots, or is it kind of how are you going about that with your group? Yeah, that's really uh, one of the values that I bring. Um, Coach from White House is I play quarterback. I uh, play quarterback in, in this league, and as a quarterback, you have to understand the entire game. And so I want these guys to understand their position, that one position you play, whether I be a slot, whether I be an outside guy. Once you master your position, once you master your craft, now I need to understand the entire offense. That makes you a better wide out. That makes you more valuable, right? You got value as far as knowing inside and outside. And so that's really the point where you want to get to is where guys know slot, guys know outside, and they're interchangeable. And so hopefully throughout the course of the year that will continue to grow and we can interchange guys' pieces in and out um, throughout series in a game. Cody, now that you see kind of what you, everything you have on the field and some guys back from the spring and everything, did, how do you feel about just that group overall in terms of making plays, uh, explosiveness? This offense obviously wants to make big plays. How, how have they done in that regard so far? Yeah, uh, done a pretty good job. Um, we got to be, uh, we got to make more competitive plays. Uh, we got to be more consistent. It can't be one big play. And then a couple of drops, it's got to be more consistent. And so that just comes with confidence. That comes with uh, growth and just reps. And a lot of these guys are unproven, haven't played a lot of, a lot of ball, a lot of, not, a lot, not a lot of time on task from the wide receiver position. So the more reps you get in fall camp, every single day is a big day. Like it's the next day, it's the biggest day of the year for us as a young group. we got to go out there and grow and develop. And so, like I said, just as far as the competitive catches, I would like to see us make more. Yeah, you mentioned playing quarterback before. The guys that have played quarterback, uh, even at a lower level, Cal uh, Callaway, Holiday, having seen concepts and coverages before from the pocket, does that help them at all see that at wide out, or is the perspective just, just very, very different? Yeah, I don't know if you watch uh, the Jimmy's films, but they were more like run left, run right type guys. You know what I mean? So I don't know what concepts were called in high school, but it does help you because you do have to see the game from a different perspective. You got to know what the offensive line scheme is. You got to know what the running back's footwork are. You have to know what the outside perimeter guys are doing. So it does help them see the game a little bit different. And that's why I think that you see Jimmy Callaway really taking big strides 
Uh, he's grown so much over the course of the summer and in this, I guess, day seven, uh, seven days of fall camp. Like, it's, it's really impressive. And I'm excited about him. Explosive, extremely fast, loves football, great hands, and he's starting to understand how to play the position. It's all about development, but especially with guys that have played different positions. They're not natural wide receivers, but now you're starting to see him become more natural every single day of practice. Cody, talk to me about the competitiveness in that room. You do you talk about the unknowns, but you got a lot of bodies. So, I mean, how, how competitive is that group? And then, two, when you're recruiting receivers for this offense, is there a specific skill set you're looking for? And how much does the mental side, being intelligent off the field, help a kid when you're recruiting him? Yeah, so competition in the room. Um, the good thing about us, it's a healthy competition. Right? We, we understand that we're trying to make Tennessee better. We want to go out and push each other every single day of practice so there's no uh, diversity, there's no guys bickering. Right, We want to go out and compete every single day. So it is really good to actually have a two or three deep to where you can't get complacent. A lot of times that if you have starters, right, those guys typically find a way to be complacent because they may know the number two guy has no chance to beat me out. Right now, here in the spring, also summer, and now in fall camp, it's wide open. So go out there every single day, get better, don't make the same mistake twice, and go out there and win your job. And that's the point that we're at right now is trying to win our job. And uh, to speak on just as far as the recruiting aspect in this offense, as fast as we play, you have to be able to process, right? You got to be able to think where to line up when in the heat of the moment, there's a lot of stuff happening. You got to get your alignment. You got to know exactly what your assignment is and you got to operate at a high clip. And so you have to be competitive by nature, right? A lot of guys that out of high school may come from uh, not so good programs or maybe not so good backgrounds, it's going to be really, really tough uh, to operate in this style of, of offense because you have to operate at a high clip, right? Everything's going fast. And so that's a big thing in recruiting is you got to be competitive, you got to be smart, and you got to know how to play football. And you really got to love it. That's what it comes down to. Do I love football? If I love football, I'm going to work at my craft and try to get better every single day. Thanks, Coach.